guys. Uh, looks like it's an extra rainy day here in Kanye, so we're doing it inside for once. But again, thank you for coming to our collectible uh, uh, show. Jordan, want to introduce us? I'm Jordan. This is Lance. We're going to open stuff. Okay. It's like show and tell for adults. Okay, so thank you for uh, coming to watch us. So basically, I got this oh, super cool package. Big Bad Toy Store haul time. Yeah, you can reach them at www.bbts.com. But basically, you know... Um, I heard a lot about the acid rain figures and they're having a great sale on those items. The acid rain figures. It's a line of uh, futuristic, uh, apocalyptic, uh, 118th scale, uh, just badassery. I mean, you can Google them, like, just Google acid rain and you'll, a lot of great items will come up. But anyway, Big Bad Toy Store is blowing out a few of their uh, less popular stuff. Anyway, I decided to pick up uh, three pieces and we're going to be opening them up right now. Well, watch out, this is sharp. Okay, so, let's see. Cut my finger off. That'll be for the best, I think. I may need to open more toys later. Maybe I'll be a man and open it with physical strength. Right on. Okay, so great packing job again by Big Bad Toy Store. There's uh, plenty of cellophane in it. And here are the owners themselves. The boxes look bigger on uh, line, but again, why would I expect the box to be huge if they're on 118th figures? Here's a BBTS has their own little mailer card. I'm going to put that on the side. Okay, here we're going to start with the first one. Uh, looks like it's called Space Prisoner. So let me tear open the packaging. Oh, you. Oh, now he's. Oh. It has that kind of nice, like, cardboard feel when there's, like, you feel a brand new cardboard item. So kind of cool. I thought there would be a top on it. I guess there's not. Uh, oh, it comes with a carrying case. So let me see. Okay. Open this up, and there we are. The space <laughs> prisoner himself. Now you'll find that although um, Acid Rain has great, look at the paint deal. Very, very great. A lot of uh, moving parts. Uh, look, he has a large arms that come in and out. Um, look how many joints they have. It's crazy. Yeah, but since again, like it's a post-apocalyptic world, uh, everybody looks like they have hepatitis. <laughs> so, I mean, look at this guy. He's had a rough life. He's got like some kind of mineral deficiency. Okay, so he comes with that, um, like extend on party arms if he wants to, I don't know, murder you in space. If he gets like infected by a space virus and becomes a space zombie. Oh well, I'm sure that part comes right back in. So very flexible, very cool. Okay, let's see. Oh, and of course the helmet. Oh, he's... Okay, comes on. Ooh, it even looks kind of dingy. The way the helmet looks like he hasn't bathed in a long time but nobody can smell in space so everything's fine and then finally looks like he comes with a rocket pack made out of feelings that he can blast off into feeling space oh cool usually i would assume it'd be like a pig system like jay joe but the rivets fit exactly into this over right there snug tight i guess these are supposed to be lights that come out when he's like in space and this is like valves to keep him from blowing up so all in all pretty cool figure space prisoner so next one we have the flame trooper from mm, old manga military that's really weird and then keep this away from small children the film may claim to nose and prevent mouth from bleeding so uh, don't give a baby a clear plastic bag and tell him to play spaceman it's not good for anyone okay again you would assume there'd be a top but there isn't we just slide out carrying case, open it up. All right, who do we got here? Ugh, this plastic, unnecessary plastic. Okay, again, really, really poseable. You know, the paint is actually awesome. Um, he has a mask on, so we can't tell if he has hepatitis or not. And he's COVID. He probably does have COVID. I mean, this is from China. Oh my God, should I have opened it? Just kidding. It's from Big Bag Toy Store. I'm sure they uh, let it sit the proper amount it needs to sit to prevent that kind of thing. So here we have a little blaster, uh, an extra helmet to make his helmet more helmet-like. Now he looks like some kind of a space future samurai. And he's got a jetpack. Oh, no, not a jetpack. This is for burning his enemies to a horrible death. It's a, it appears to be a flame background. So these are really cool. Oh, bro, come on. You're killing me. So now we're just gonna burn fools to death. 
Nice. And then also give them the right cross. Pah! Because if they're fireproof, you can still knock them out, I think. Maybe. Who knows? Or you have a gun, because that's overkill. Maybe if they're screaming too loud after you burn them to death, you can shoot them to put them out of their misery. Or you're just the most overkill dude of all time. So that's rad, that's rad. Now here comes the last piece, which was what I was most excited about. I really just like the look of it. Um, there's a bunch of, it's called a sand tactical engineer. I looked, there's uh, several sets for him. You know, there's one that comes with more armor and fortress parts and one that comes with more heavy duty uh, weapons. And look, the carrying case is different color. I think it's a different set. So let me see. Oh, I'm fired. <laughs> Idiot proof. Okay, so here he comes. Look, his, his armor is awesome. Look at all these different accessories and details. He looks sandblasted and full of acne scars. And although, look, look, there's a miss applied to this paint, so he looks like he is uh, handicapped in some form. Eye. Yeah, he's got some kind of lazy eye of murder. So I probably could get in there with a, some white out, fix it right up. But I mean, the joints are great. This is super cool. Acid rain. It's right in here. He comes with a uh, combat knife and an assault rifle. And again, you know, these are cheap. You know, this this figure, I mean, doesn't sound cheap, but this is about $30. This tactical engineer, I think the flame trooper is 25. And then the, the, the spaceman himself was only $20. So, I mean, they're really doing a great job on the pricing of this because the normal retails for these is probably like $45 to $50 something. End up saving a bunch. I mean, if you want special ones, uh, a bunch aren't on sale, so you're gonna just have to pay the premium. But if you don't care, like I did, I just really wanted to get my hands on some of these figures. Um, you know, definitely worth checking out Big Bag Toy Store. So there's the knife. Oh, he comes with two pistols. And uh, apparently it's very difficult to get them in there. I'm sure once you get the f guns in the hands, they're almost impossible to get out. He's like, bust the cap on people. What came out of his backpack? Looks like some kind of power charge thing right here. You can, it's a pouch. pouch. It's... Is it made by Rob Lapa? Uh-huh. I'm sure he, Rob Liefeld wishes he made this character with his googly eye assassin. I mean, seriously, look at that. That's hilarious. It's... See, no, look. He looks like badass technical. And now he looks like a cartoon version of From the Cool World. But anyway, um... Jay, uh, introduce him to our channel. Alright, that was MJRL Hobby Stuff. All of our cool stuff today. Yeah. Stuff. And then you can follow me at Hawaii Toy Box on Instagram. Uh, please follow me. I need all the help I can get. Thank you very much.